Oh, don't break that. That's expensive shit. Don't break that. And this lovely sash. Lovely sash. So you can yeah. feel like a queen. Lovely sash. Faggot. Lovely, lovely sash. There you go. All right, man. Don't forget that because that's from Mona's. That's from Mona's. All right. Make some noise for Rosie's, please. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Real quick, everybody be serious. And I, and I say this with a little phlegm in the bottom of my heart. Yeah, because I can smell yours. I'm just... Snowy doesn't live in Florida anymore! We're going to hell. Yeah, she got a job in Kentucky, so she went to Pittsburgh. But she... Uh, she was never really that right anyway. <laughs> if that bitch is in the front door, Daisy, we gotta go. Where's your car? I, I, all right, all right. In the back. Yeah, <laughs> All right. Sleaziest door person. The nominees are... Annie of the Boardwalk. That evil bitch. You should applaud now. She might not be around in a day. Okay. Uh, Ron of Ramrod. Yeah! She don't work there no more. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> she doesn't. <laughs> work there either. <laughs> it's a while ago they did. Yeah, well, yeah. And Ivan of Steel. Ivan of Steel. And the sleazy goes to... Ivan! Who? Ivan! Who? Are we, wait, are we Bills? Yeah. Oh, I thought we were Super Zulu. Hi, Lily! Hey, what's going on? Uh, get, your, get your crap over there. Congratulations. Yeah. And you got a Christmas present there, too, sweetie. Good, good. Yeah, nice. yeah, give it to Lily because she... We don't want to get... I love you, baby. Are you still down the street at the... Uh... Not Lee. Oh, is that right? It's not Lee, so... Yeah, 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 but that's not you. Shoot, shoot. Make some noise for the girl. I just spit all over Papa No Bill. <laughs> I'm very sorry, man. You're very close. You're all up in my grill and everything. You know, she's very old. She's another one that might not be around. No, we gotta hope we give her something. <laughs> one, one, one. Uh, all right, next one. Best leather person in town. And the nominees are. Oh, oh Jesus Christ! Up, I thought it was the Chupacabra. <laughs> These are these boys right here are selling the 5743 raffle tickets. All right, please don't give them big bills because I don't think that they'll be able to subtract it. Yes, but they're walking around and they're selling tickets. You adorable, aren't you? Leah? What's your name? Ollie. Sherman. What's your name? Kobe. Indeed. All right. Make some noise for the boys, please. All right, don't, don't get Guido. I don't know where your bucket is or anything like that. By the way, sweetie, how's the straight thing working out for you? Good still? Keep it fair. All right. All right, best leather person in town. The nominees are... Certainly isn't that straight kid. Jason of Leatherworks. Yeah! Bill H. of the Ramrod. Bill Hefner of Ramrod. Mike Hedges. Did I say that right? No, you don't fuck that all up, Jason. Mike, get up, Mike. Mike Hedges. 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 I got it. Say with me. Hedges. Hedges. Short bus. I got Daniel of Sidelines. <laughs> and Eric Lawrence. Eric Lawrence is in the back, I just saw him. Alright. And the sleazy goes to. Who do you think? Who do you think? Who? Because she is no other man, she's a lady. <laughs> yeah. 
She used to work in library. She was, but they fired her. <laughs> no, I'm teasing. It was a joke. See, going to hell. Lawsuit. I hear a lawsuit. And a big prize. There it goes. You know, I know you love a big box. Just get off the desk. Still still the the Jason, the blood works. Make some noise, please. Hey, listen, listen, listen. We got a whole bunch of people that we have to thank. Right? People are gonna think this is Ben with Jason from Leatherworks. He just won Best Leather Person in Town. How's that feel? Uh, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I, I, I didn't expect it at all. It's an honor to be nominated. So you did not have any in your inquisition that you were going to get this at all? Okay, maybe a little. Just a little? <laughs> All right. Uh, hot well, congratulations, and I hope you enjoy everything, and I hope you enjoy tonight. What's in the big box? I do, but it's a big box. It's got to right. be something big. They paid for all the awards. Here. Well, you better enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. For a lot of picks for the Sleazitarian Award. Sleazitarian. Back to your picks. And listen, any picture that's taken tonight, if you want a copy of it, go online, go to ftlpicks.com, and it'll be on there. Bills, of course, we're here. Bills, make some noise for Bills. Nice for all the that just have it here. Miss Kitty and Ron at the front door. At the front door, Miss Kitty. I gotta tell you a story about Miss Kitty. You know they were filming that movie, another gay sequel in town, and Miss Kitty and I were in an orgy scene together. <laughs> I know, just let that marinate for a second. Yeah. So, um, not only was I a lesbian, but I was also an echophilia. <laughs> but, so, it wasn't much of a stretch. Off and running, let's go. Okay, all right. All right, Miss Kitty, Tom has an uh, office manager. Where's Tom? Tom Vanderloop, he's taking all of your money. Where is Chi Chi LaRue? Oh. She should be here somewhere. Give it over, Chi Chi. Well, give it up for her anyway. Uh, Michael Lucas, they should be able to be here. Is that happening? They gotta be here. Yeah, but they're not both here. They're not here. here. Do we see them anywhere? All right. Howard and, of course, the, the staff of the Fab Scout for all the porn stars that are walking around tonight. All right. The Sleazy Board. Kevin Wright, the co-chair of the Sleazy Board and the floor manager tonight. Um, Ron, Jackson, Mark, and the entire crew here at Bill's Filling Station. Make some noise for them. And Mona's for the Christmas gifts. And Mona's, right, exactly. And of course, Swiss Lou. Done. All right. All right. Sleaziest sex club in town. The nominees are. Slammers, yeah, Slammers. The Eagle. The Eagle. Oh, you love that one. Yeah, yeah. Clubhouse Who the hell two. Who is that one? Is, yeah. Clubhouse 2. <laughs> and the Club Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> what? <laughs> but both of y'all are going to the club now. All right, who won it? I believe it's Slammers makes a noise! Get up here. So we do not own those, so yeah. Slammers, please! Hey, where's Guido? Here, you got a whole bunch of crap. Where is Guido? Somebody get Guido. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there it is. See, that looks good with the dick going down. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One more time, give it up for Slammers, please. And the nominees are... Leatherworks! <laughs> Publix at the five points. Well, uh, fucking Publix! At five points, bitches. Five square, bitch. Hoppy's Pizza! Give it up, Hoppy's Pizza! The Home Depot! Are there lesbians here? Inside. Tony Baruch. Tony Baruch. <laughs> She's at Home Depot. She's not here. Right. Bottoms and tops? Oh, yeah. oh, fabulous. Cheers. You guys have never been in any of these places, apparently. Well, we are making friends all over. This is all over. <laughs> and Java Boys. Java Boys. Boys. And then, yeah. All right, who won it?
that, uh, that, that real tall, cute black dagger. She's a little slow, so, but she's cute, though. She's really cute. Dumb as a bag of hair, but she's cute. Where is he? Oh, God, I hope he's not here. Is there anybody from Publix? All right, Mike, hit the music. We'll accept it from my place. This is a big one. This is a big one. Sleazy as far back. The nominees are... Kyle of the Ramrock. Kyle of the Ramrock! That's Cole's parents right there. Thank you very much. Paul. Just Paul. Just Paul. Like Cher. Cher. Ryan of Sidelines. Ryan of Sidelines down the street. And Lee of Steel. Lee of Steel. Who do you think got it? Who? She's really, really big. Oh, and there she is. <sighs> All right, listen. This woman, this woman, she's 90 year old and she's a woman, but she's fantastic and she's lovely and she comes out when we need her and when we don't need her, she comes out. All right, here we go. We're gonna start the bidding at $400. Do I hear $400? $400 for this. I got $400 from Jackson Patch. Do I hear $450? I got $400, do I hear $450? 400 do I hear 450? Oh, come on now, we're not gonna let this go for $400, are we? All right, how about 425? At 425, I got 450. 450, do I hear? 450, got 450, do I hear 475? 475, do I hear 500? 475, do I hear 500? At 500 from Bill right here, Papa Bill, thank you very much. Do I hear 525? 500, do I hear 525? 525, do I hear 550? 525, do I hear 550? 525 going once, do I hear, that's 5, 550. 575? I'm going up 575 here, do I have 600? 575, do I hear 600? 575 going once, I got 600 right here, do I hear 625? I got 625, do I hear 650? Got 650, do I hear 675? Got 675, how about 700? How about 800? 850? 9? 950? 1,000? 1,200, do I hear 1,250? 1,200, do I hear 1,250? 1,500, do I hear 1,600? I got 16, do I hear 17? 18? 19, 2,000, 2,100, 2,200, I got 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, do I hear 26? I got 26, do I hear 27? 27, 28, 28, 29. Anybody else? I got 28 right over here. 28 going once. 29? I got 29, do I hear three? I got 3,100? I got three. Do I hear 3,100? 3,000 going once. 3,000 going twice. Anybody else? So to this gentleman right here, $3,000. Thank you very much. Now, I don't know who's responsible for dragging them down, but that's it. And I'm going to turn the show right back over. Thank you all.
keep playing it. This is Ben with Dale Madison. Look at you tonight. How about that auction? Three thousand dollars. Believe that. I mean, and so quickly too. I mean, that was just awesome. I right, very. You look like a real auctioneer up there too. Just go this way, this way, this way, this way. I've done it for so many times, and it now just comes naturally. So, anyway, great job here tonight too, honey. And it's going for a great cause too. So we're all fortunate for all this and everything that you guys are doing. I hope you have a good night tonight, and thank you for chatting with me. Oh, there you go. So Mark Scott of Steel. Of course. Kirby James of Ramrod. Kirby James! And Mr. Gabriel Nolan of Bill. I'm sure no one is in the bag. Who won it? Who? Kirby James of Ramrod. This is Ben with Herbie James who won Sleaziest DJ. How does it feel to be Sleaziest DJ? Well, I've always known that it was just a given. I didn't know it had to be voted on. I thought it was just understood, you know, like underlined, I am the Sleaziest DJ. I mean, that is a fact. Oh, so it doesn't even have to take a vote. You already know you are. Everybody knows that I am. <laughs> and so why were you, why is anybody amazed that I win? And I don't understand. So what took you so long? Why were you late tonight? Because I had to dress him and, and two of our friends. So you're the dresser? And the, I'm a, and the fluffer. Oh, and a fluffer. I'm sleazy, yeah. Oh, that's why you're sleazy. Yeah. I, it, it worked, didn't it? Well, Herbie, congratulations. Yes, you did get my vote. Congratulations, and I hope to see you next year and win it again. Of course we will. Uh, once again, hello, it's a given. Well, honey, you go around and be sleazy with yourself, okay? Very much, I will. <laughs> Look me up. Uh, hello. This is a big one. Sleaziest bar owner in town. The nominees are Chris of Steel. Oh. Didn't she move to Pittsburgh? No. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess I shouldn't be working over at the Sony Bat. Well, who won? Yeah, you got a bunch of crap too. I mean, that's 
and he just won Sleaziest Bar Owner. How do you get Sleaziest Bar Owner? It takes a lot of work. A lot, a lot of work. How much work is that in Tile? I've been in the business for a long time, so everybody knows my dick size, so it takes a lot of work. <laughs> so I guess pretty much it's, it might be pretty big then. Everybody's been very satisfied. <laughs> well, congratulations on winning, and I hope you keep it up, and I hope to see you next year winning it again. Tell me, that was good. That was good. That was good. Doing fun. All right. Oh, hold on a minute. <laughs> okay. Did you get it? I, I did. Do you want some? All right. All right. Here, lick my, lick my ball. All right. All right. This is another big one. Best ball in the Travis Rebels. I just saw him. He's here. Oh, honey, move out of his way. Come on. Get him in. Travis from Bells, everybody. Yeah, two or three? Oh, don't. Totally. Oh, totally. totally. And we gotta, we gotta get a look at the assets. Sure. Yeah. No, 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 no. Show the people at home there. Get popping up there. Get popping up there. There we go. This morning, because she sucks. Right. All right. <laughs> because she ain't right. She's got no own own syndrome. It's all right. Okay. Baby, I'm look at it. Nobody wants a picture of your face. Turn around. Yeah. There you go. He's in it. And to think, all of his personality is kept right there in his ass. There you go. Make some noise for Travis. For the big old hey, you guys missed the big picture here. How many years in a row is that? Three? Three yeah. years. Three years in a row? Oh, you sick bitch. Get down. Oh, Travis here. Take your crap. Travis, Travis. Take your crap. Yeah, you got crap too. Three years. Three years. Shut up. Just got a lot of room in there. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't this your third year with us as well? I think it is. Make some noise for Daisy Dick. That's third year. No strange coincidence. Fifth year. I'm fifth year. This has been with Travis from Bills. He just won Best Bottom in Town three years in a row. How does it feel to be three years in a row winning Best Bottom? I guess I'm good. <laughs> Are you going to give the crown up to somebody else next year? or I, For the next year, I'm going to be a top. Scandal! <laughs> You're going to disappoint a lot of tops in this town. Wait a minute. I'm talking about Fort Lauderdale. What do you call a top in Fort Lauderdale? I don't know what. A uh, tourist. <laughs> very good. Well, congratulations, and I hope you keep it up, because very nice assets. I do mean assets. And I hope to see you next year. Hey, you know what? That's the one for you. Next one, this is a big one. Best bar to score at. The nominees are... Scandals! Who <laughs> took the table up? Somebody turn him off. There we go. We need all of this black. <laughs> what are you trying to say? All right, hey, listen. This is one of my favorite entertainers. All of you know him. Ladies and gentlemen, Electra. I was thinking that baby. I am here with the host and hostess of the Sleazy Awards, Russell and Daisy Dead Petals. So Russell, I've heard you've been doing this for all five years. How does it feel? Five very, very long, long years. But you know, it is my pleasure to do it. It's all for charity. It all goes to Shadowwood. Um, the uh, it's a it's a uh, it's um it's a real place here in town. And it all every single dime that we make all goes to charity. So it's my pleasure. That is such an amazing thing. And Daisy, you've been doing it for three years. How do you like it? I absolutely love it. Russell makes it uh, just a hoot. And 
I, you shut up. And the whole community comes together and just lets down their hair and acts crazy and has a great time. It's a great, it's like a big dysfunctional family vacation. Love it. Are you guys going to be back to do it again next year? With a vengeance. You guys are doing a great job here. I want to thank you so much for supporting Shadowwood and making everything going towards them. And put on a great show and keep it going. Thank you, baby. I applauded him after sex. He didn't know I had my vibrator hooked up to the clapper. This has been with Guido, the founder of the Sleazy Awards. So where did the Sleazy Awards originate from? We were joking about um, they don't, the community never announced the true heroes of our community. Sleaziest bartender, who's the best top, who's the best bottom? That's where it's arrived from. And you just went on from there in five years now, the fifth annual. How does it make you feel to keep going? Scared shitless. Cameron. But it's for a good cause. What's the benefit? What is this benefiting? It's Shadowwood 2, which is a rehabilitation center uh, in Fort Lauderdale so for HIV positive people. A very good cause. And thank you so much for doing this. We know the gay community loves you so much for doing this. And I hope it keeps on going strong. Oh, honey. Listen, hey, listen, that was huge having her here this year. I love her. The one pageant I won, she actually got me together. Oh, is that one right? One pageant on you. Is that fixed? Hey, yeah. bitch. Hey, 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 don't forget about the silent auction that's back there. You know, uh, you go back there, you write your crap down on the cross. This has been with Electra. Electra, this is your first time performing at the Sleazy Awards. What made you want to do it? Well, I've been sleazy for many years, but this was my first chance to prove to the public that I can be as sleazy as anybody else. One more time, Kirby James, please. And I do have to say, the character you chose for tonight was sleazy in her own way. What made you choose her? Well, she's a sleazy but adorable. I wanted to show that there is a, a, a dearing side to sleaziness. And you did do that for us tonight. You are fabulous as always, and you put on a phenomenal performance. And thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you. Can I just lick your microphone? Now that's sleazy. <laughs> you have a good night, baby, and enjoy yourself. I am here with Mark, one of the owners of Bill's Friendly Station. So what made you guys want to do the Sleazy Awards here this year? Well, they asked us and they thought this would be a great, uh, a great way to show the new space and they thought it was a great space to have it and that it would be big enough to really hold a really fun party and it looks like it turned out to be that way. Well, it did turn out to be that way. You guys have some big names here tonight and it's been a phenomenal night so far. So how's it feel? You were up there for that auction, $3,000 on that guitar going to Shadowwood. How was that? Well, I really wanted the guitar, so I kept on ch looking at Jackson like, okay, 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 but, you know, you got to stop at some point, but I'm glad it went up higher, you know, to raise money for Shadowwood, so that's what it's all about. Exactly, that is what it's all about, and thank you so much for joining us here, and keep up doing the good work here at Bill's Family Station. We love you guys so much. Thank you so much. Come back and visit us again. We'll always be here. All right. Sleaziest salesperson in town. The nominees are. AJ, the bottom of the top. Tom of Elks. Ben of the Pride Factory. No idea. And this is my first time doing this. What's his name? Chappie of Decades. Yeah, that's I call that too. <laughs> Who? The winner is AJ from Bottom of the Top. 
This has been with AJ from Bombs and Tops, who just won sleaziest retail person. How does it feel to be sleazy retail person? It feels really good. What did you do to get this award? I have no idea. You have no idea what you did. You had to do something. Let's just say I can't say that on uh, camera. Nothing at all comes to mind. Where is she? <laughs> Where is no, I'm just me. Let's just put it that way. Well, congratulations, and I hope to see you next year, and I hope to see you up there again. You have a good night. Top in town, short category. Yeah. There's only two. And the nominees are Kenny. Well, that's it. Oh no, wrong category. Hold on a minute. Wrong category. Alright. Best top in town. Men of Smarty Pants. <sighs> Fabulous. Ron Johnson. Fantastic. Ryan of Sidelines. Rob of Bills. Big John of Ramrod. Yeah. By no means Big John and Grandma, but this is Chad from over Grand Rock. Thanks a lot! Here's a, you want to do the best top line. Yeah. Alright, hey, Guido. Guido, where is he? Hey, everybody make some noise for Jody from the Shadowwood, please! She had a rice crispy too. I bet she just went and puked the back of the 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 Well, no, 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 she she had a corner of a rice. I'm setting up tonight, Rush. Well, I want the microphone. You're dismissed, gentlemen and ladies, and whomever you are. And Daisy, thank you so much. And Daisy, there's a group out here that started a new business in town about a little more than a year ago. Are the owners of Slammers in the house? They have something they want to give you tonight. Are they, where's the owners of Slammers? Get up here. Uh, get over here. Come on. Every one of you have been to Slammers, you know that. Now, if you've ever been to Slammers, then you, and if you've ever seen this band naked, Hello. Jody, do you know Bob? Well, introduce yourself. Now, you got to know Carl, because he goes to Slammers. All right, Bob, you want to give this? Now, hold on a minute. Now, when we started this, when we started raising money for organizations around town, I need your attention for a moment. Only serious moment of the Sleazy Awards. I do need both of them. Some of the large organizations wouldn't accept our money because of uh, what the rumor has in their magazine. So, we went to some of the smaller organizations who needed our money, accepted our money. Bob and I were talking one night regarding where should they donate their money to, and I informed them about Shadowwood. So, Bob, I'm going to give you the microphone for a moment. I know you love this, don't you? Bob, turn it over. Thank you. It's great to be living in Fort Lauderdale, and I love it out here. And I have to thank all of our crew at Slammer that works really hard and tries to create a fun time here for our in Fort Lauderdale. And as far as Shadowwood, it does the terrific work, and we just want to present you with this check. Get the fuck off the stage. We've got one more thing to do now. <laughs> Bob, thank you so much. And one more time. Slammers, you go. Hold on, we're going to do a Hold on, folks.
folks, we're continuing because Jody wants to just let you know about Shadowwood for a moment. Because I'm extremely shy and shy. This is Ben, and I am with the founders, the founders of Shadowwood. Ralph of Kumpa. I am the PR and marketing person for Shadowwood. I am the chairman of the board. Okay, and I'm here with Bob, is it? Yes. Of Slammers, who just donated $5,000 to Shadowwood. Dude, that is, that is amazing. That is so awesome. I cannot even, I was almost in tears when I heard about this. What made you want to give this to the Shadowwood? Well, they do such incredible work. You, you have to support that. And we, we're a new business. We've done really well. The community's supported us, and we want to get back. And we want to get back to the people that do important work here, and they're one of them. So that is such an amazing, how did you feel when you saw it was $5,000 given to you? It's awesome. It's amazing. I am so glad that we have community support. That we have, I can't, I can't begin to tell you. I, I, you were, I saw you up there, and honestly, I thought you were about ready to start crying. I was like, I'm sitting back here starting to cry with you, and I'm like, this is such an amazing event. I mean, how did it make you feel? It's, it's truly overwhelming. They say the community is not very well fit, but I'm telling you what, this is proof. We have a tight community, and they care. And this, no, right. this is just proof. It, it is overwhelming. I know me and my husband, we go bowling for Shadowwood all the time, and we want to support you guys in everything because you're doing an amazing job on everything. And thank you so much for being in this community and helping everybody out. And thank you, sir, for donating so much money to a worthy cause. You all are, you all are amazing. You are so amazing. Thank you so much. This has been with Daddy Zach and Steve. How does it feel to win this award? We've won it five years in a row. Five years in a row? Oh, come on. Now, I've heard so much about you. I've never got to meet you before. And now that I meet you, I can understand why they call you Daddy Zach. All right. Hi, hi everybody. And make sure you get to the Ramrod when you're in Fort Lauderdale. We're on Walton Drive, 4th Avenue. And how do you feel about having this award won? Kiss my what? How do you feel about having this award won? Oh, I'm speechless. But we really, we really feel that the community is the one that made this award for us. You guys have an amazing bar, and I love it down there. I come by there all the time. You guys have a great bar down there. We hope to see you guys again, and I hope to see more of you guys down there. On a serious note, the Rimmer magazine originally started as the Ramrod Rimmer. Really? That would have been about six years ago. So good luck to Guido for carrying it on the tour. Well, congratulations, guys, and I'll see you down there. This is the man that the Golden Ring and the Ed Day in the name of his company, which is... So you just took an award for Tom, who used to work at Ramrod, who deliberately got struck on a hit and run. How is he doing? He's doing very, very well. We're very proud of him. Um, he's very positive. He's working hard. He's looking good. He's beefing up. And he's going to be just fine. Is his family doing good now? Or are, they, are they still trying to find out who did this? Well, you know, everybody's healing as expected. So <laughs> we're just so glad that he made it through and he's doing well. Well, she knows that the gay community is with her. And Tom knows that the gay community is behind him 100 percent and thank you so much for accepting this award for him and let him know that we're all thinking of him and making sure he gets all the way back to hell i will i will thank you the boardwalk the post party at the boardwalk everybody if you go to the boardwalk you mention the seasons at the front door they'll let you in the way there's a buffet over there make sure we all out there's a bunch of food and everything over there and hookers and hookers yeah hookers straight puerto rican hookers my favorite thing here with one of the winners because it was a tie for sleaziest bar manager in town. How does it feel to have this award as sleaziest bar manager? Well, seeing as though I'm accepting for Timmy Coyne, who's now managing an alibi tonight, um, 
I'll have to find out. Next time you see Timmy, just slap him in the ass and uh, congratulate him. Oh, so you got the night off, but he did it. Exactly, exactly. So two alibi managers win it. That's got to be pretty good. I think I would think so. Now, what does that say about alibi? Is that the sleaziest place? I wouldn't say it's the sleaziest place, but it has its moments. Well, congratulations to both of you guys, and let him know that we congratulate him too. And I hope you have a great time, and hope to see you back here next year. We want to thank every single one of you bitches for being here tonight. We have raised lots and lots and lots of money for this gentleman. Thanks so much for yourselves, please.